things you didn't know about Jeffrey Epstein, besides knowing he's a sex offender who committed suicide while in prison. What else did you know about Jeffrey Epstein? Financier, sex trafficker, and a luxury lover. Exploring these unsettled aspects of his life may leave you shocked or even terrified. So, if you're up for it, here are 10 things you didn't know about Jeffrey Epstein. Number 1. He had an interest in transhumanism. Did you know the controversial sex offender had an interest in transhumanism? Now, in case you didn't know, transhumanism is a belief that one can use technology to make themselves stronger, smarter, and better beyond normal human limitation. You see, Epstein donated to various causes, particularly supporting academic scientists in their projects, attracting distinguished individuals like Nobel laureates to his home for parties and scientific conferences. During his meetings with these scientists, he had discussed several of his own pet theories, including eugenics. It was also uncovered that one ambition he discussed was to impregnate multiple women, thereby spreading his DNA. One account claimed his plan was for 20 women to bear his children, and that his ranch in New Mexico would be a base for this operation. Number 2. He owned a private island. Jeffrey Epstein didn't have a viable source of income, but went ahead to buy numerous properties, including houses in Florida, Palm Beach, New York, Manhattan, and etc. And at the end, a private island. This private island known as the Island of Sin was located in the US Virgin Islands. The private island was Epstein's sex trafficking hub, where he organized sex orgies and entertained his rich friends with underaged girls. On the island, you can find a main house, three guest cottages, a crater's cottage, a private desalination system, a helipad, a dock. In addition, there is a blue stripped box-like building that initially was topped by a golden dome. Apart from all these luxurious holdings, Epstein also owned an apartment in Paris and a ranch in New Mexico. The extent of his wealth as a sex offender remained largely unknown to many, making this information about him all more surprisingly to those who recently learned of it. Number 3. He had a strange temple on his private island. Now, if you search for a 3D view of Epstein's private island, Using a Google Maps, you'll find a mansion, some buildings, and a dome-shaped structure designed like a temple with a Roman architecture. Interestingly, there have been several rumors that the purpose of this temple on Epstein's island. According to the island workers, the temple is a music room with a piano where Epstein, a trained pianist, often spent time with a piano. However, conspiracy theorists believe the temple hidden a secret lair and it is used for religious worship. To this day, no concrete evidence have emerged to confirm what exactly Jeffrey Epstein did inside this enigmatic temple. Number 4. He owned a Boeing 727 jet known as Lolita Express. Jeffrey Epstein's appetite for luxury extended beyond owning a private island. He also acquired a Boeing 727 jet which he called the Lolita Express. This private jet ownership attracted him to the most influential people on planet Earth, and the number of his billionaire friends increased. At the time of his arrest, prosecutors claimed Jeffrey Epstein had two private jets, three American passports, and over 15 vehicles, which many of them were from Chevrolet. Interestingly, during the investigation, the flight logs of Lolita Express exposed a list of rich and influential individuals who had flown on the private jet. However, the flight logs were never made public, leaving much speculation about the identities of the jet's passengers. Number 5. He was interested in modern science. Although Jeffrey Epstein was quite secretive about his dealings, his close pals in 2002 couldn't stop talking about his mental powers. They raved that Jeffrey Epstein was always hanging out with Nobel Prize winners and talking about the theoretical science of the 21st century. Jeffrey Epstein ran a science blog where he published pictures of famous scientists like Stephen Hawkins, 
who were spending time on his private island. It is indeed astonishing that someone with Epstein's morally questionable reputation showed such a keen interest in modern science. He even went far as owning an official website, which makes it all even more intriguing. Number 6. He had a team of female assistants he called an extension of his brain. For undisclosed reasons, Jeffrey Epstein chose not to hire male assistants. Instead, among over a hundred young women he worked with, he selected three as his executive assistants. He called them an extension of his brain. These women were available around the clock and receiving salaries exceeding $200,000 a year. Apart from the mouth-watering salary, Epstein treated his female assistants to lavish experiences and expensive restaurants and ensured they always looked their best. When one of his assistants became pregnant and requested maternity leave, Epstein provided her with a full-time nanny to assist during that period. Number 7. His Palm Beach residence has weird furnishings. When Epstein Jeffrey was arrested in 2005 because of his alleged involvement in sex trafficking, his Palm Beach home was raided by police. Epstein's Palm Beach residents were 12 million at the time had weird furnishings. These furnishings weren't just unsettling, but also disturbing as they included naked painting of teenage girls and that of his ex-girlfriend, a British socialist. It will also interest you that this Epstein's ex, who goes by the name Gaislein Maxwell, was also arrested for being involved in introducing underage girls into sex trafficking operations. Besides the naked paintings, another strange thing the police found during this raid of Epstein's home was a massage chair. What made this particular chair strange was its location in his bathroom as it was suspected to have been used for disturbing activities involving his hostages. Number 8. He assaulted over 80 girls. In 2017, a reporter discovered that Jeffrey Epstein has assaulted over 80 girls after she went through his files, records and court documents. This discovery was published in a report and it led to Epstein's being charged to court. In the Manhattan court, Epstein pleaded not guilty but was remanded in prison without bail. So he wouldn't leave the country while he was remanded in prison. Epstein's house were raided by investigators and pictures of naked minors were collected. Other items were found during this raid of Epstein's properties including the flight logs of his private jet and a black book which he used to record details of his sex trafficking operation. Number 9. Epstein's Black Book The revelation of the victims and the associates of Jeffrey Epstein's largely relied on his black book and the private jet's flight book. This black book contained contact details for the trafficked minors and powerful individuals in his social circle. Despite Donald Trump asserting no close ties with Epstein, investigators discovered 14 contacts associating him with Epstein's in his black book. What's more, the black book was all needed to nail Jeffrey Epstein's for his crime. However, Epstein's house manager, Alfredo Rodriguez, sold the book to another lawyer and served an 18-month sentence for obstructing justice. And at number 10, he died from a broken neck. On the 10th of August 2019, 66-year-old Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in New York City in the detention center. The prison officials who were ordered to watch him ignored the directives. According to the information released by the New York Times, Epstein's death was a result of suicide. However, when a medical examiner performed an autopsy on Epstein's call, it was discovered that he died from a broken neck. While death due to broken neck can be written off as suicide, if the victim hung himself, it might also be caused by strangulation. After Epstein's death, a federal judge closed the sex trafficking case against him. Nonetheless, Epstein's lawyers have decided to carry out an investigation to determine the actual cause of Epstein's death. 
they are also ready to sue the government for not protecting Epstein while being in detention. Though you may find some of the facts mentioned in this video peculiar or hard to believe, we are relieved that justice was served and we wish the victims of these crimes well. If you enjoyed this video, please consider showing your support by giving us a like and subscription to our YouTube channel for more revealing content like this. Until the next time, thank you for watching.